So today I'm dyeing silk, mulberry silk tops. I've had it soaking in um, a soak solution that is mostly water. I added a little bit of citric acid to it, but you could use vinegar. And I've added a little bit of urea, only because urea helps to get the water to uh, penetrate it. Because silk on its own tends to be a little bit water phobic and doesn't really absorb water it sort of repels water it just floats on top it takes a lot to saturate silk so that it'll absorb the dye so i also put a little bit of a detergent or a surfactant in with my soak water to make sure that the water penetrates so these have been soaking for actually three days so i'll just squeeze a little bit of water out and lay them out but i will skip through a lot of this because you don't need to watch me just lay these out, it's a bit boring. And I'll be back when it's time to put the dye on. Okay, I'll just come back and go through how I lay it out, which is fairly simple. Um, I will fast forward through a lot of this so you don't have to watch it. But I dye in colourways, each colourway I usually do four at a time. Occasionally I do three depending on um, how much of a particular fibre I've got and each of these batches, each of these lots of fibre is 50 grams of silk. So So today I'm using um, the Dharma Acid dyes to dye the silk um, only because I already have them and if I have to heat set dyes then I might as well use what I've got. I do dye a lot with earth palette dyes just because they're so easy but um, I thought I'd try and use up these dyes as well so I've been making an effort to do colourways with the Dharma Acid dyes as well while I'm at it. So this is a red, I'm just going to tip it on, in fact I'm just going to tip all of them on as I go and then sort of pat it in a bit, I don't mind the colours blending a little bit. And then I'll repeat the colourway. Make a mess while I'm at it. The machinery in the background is the, my husband down the sheds. Shifting things around. That's the forklift going I think at the moment. Yeah, gone straight there and then the red again we might put a little bit more green right on the end haven't laid them out very straight have I okay right now we might just go through and just pack them in a bit These acid dye, these particular dyes, there's no thickener in them. They're just a normal made up dyes. And you'll find that the colors that the dye will actually sink through to the bottom. And if you're not careful with what your colors you use when they blend together, you'll just get a shade of brown. Okay, so think about what colors you're putting together. And I might even clean up my mess while I'm at it. You see that one's already running together there fairly well. Okay, now make sure our greens, but I don't mind the colours all blending together a bit. I think it just adds to the complexity of the tops and the end dye. So right, we'll wrap it up and I'm going to steam this. 
these acid dyes need steaming for 40 minutes unlike the earth palette dyes which don't really even 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 they don't usually need heat but if you do you don't have to put them that long so I will steam these for 40 minutes and then I will let them cool down or set overnight and I'll be back to rinse them out and show you how they look in the morning so we brought back our silk that we dyed and um, this is the finished product this is how it comes out it's been rinsed it's been dried and it's um, this is how we laid it out to dye it ready to spin or felt or whatever you're going to do with it so thanks for joining us 